Hello friends, welcome to the Southern Mountain Kitchen. Today we're making blackberry muffins. So everything you see on my counter is what we're going to use to make these muffins. Um, it's probably a good idea if you can to use fresh blackberries instead of frozen ones. They give a better taste. So let's go ahead and preheat our oven to 400 degrees so that way it'll be hot by the time we start mixing up our ingredients and are ready to bake these. So what we're going to do is start off with two cups of flour. To that we're adding a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one tablespoon of baking powder, and then a half a cup of sugar. And once we get this into our container, we're gonna go ahead and mix this up so that way all of the seasoning taste and everything is all mixed through completely before we go to our next step. So in a different bowl, we're gonna go ahead and start out with our buttermilk, which we're using a cup and a half of buttermilk. Then to that we're adding a half a cup of melted butter. And then we're going to add one egg, which we've already broken up the yolk, so it makes sure it mixes through a lot better. And then after that, the final is going to be one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we're going to go ahead and whisk this all together until everything is totally incorporated together. And once we get this all mixed up afterwards, we're going to add in our dry ingredients. So go ahead and as you're mixing this, you can start pouring in a little time of the dry ingredients to get them mixed in so that way you don't have to dump it all in at once. It's easier probably just to go ahead and mix it up as you go. And if you have to do this in like two to three steps, even four if you wanted to, it's good to do because at least that way you know that all of the dry ingredients are getting thoroughly mixed into the wet ingredients. And as you go along, make sure you scrape the sides of your bowl to make sure everything goes in right. And then once you get everything completely in, we just want to make sure everything is mixed through as well as we can before we add our blackberries. Now, if you're mixing this up and you see there's some little lumps in your batter, that is totally okay. We're gonna be okay with it because as it bakes, it'll bake out. And then we're gonna add in about two cups of blackberries. Now, you can put in as many as you want. Um, pretty much when you buy a pack from the store, it's about a cup and a half worth. Um, so use as many as you want to, just to make sure that you know you have enough to go through all of your muffins. And then we're going to fold these in. We're not trying to beat these really hard or do anything. We just want them folded into the batter that we already had. And once this is all ready, we are going to use our muffin tins. Spray them with some nonstick cooking spray, or you can line them with the paper liners or the foil kind. And once we get them all ready, then we're going to start putting this into our muffin tin, each one at a time. And then once it's all done, it's going to go into the oven for 18 to 20 minutes, depending on you know sometimes muffin tins are bigger than others um, you're gonna have to watch this to make sure they're done usually for the smaller size which is just your general everyday kind it takes about 18 to 20 minutes when you're scooping this in make sure as you're scooping out the batter that you make sure there's at least you know a couple of the blackberries mixed in with it you don't want to end up with one of your muffins that doesn't have any blackberries at all And we're just going to do this until we fill up all of the different tin holes on this. Now, the good thing about this is there's enough here to easily make 12 muffins at regular size. So you have a lot. And this is what it looks like when it's all completely on and ready to go. And like I said, you're going to bake this for 18 to 20 minutes. And when they come back, they look something like this. And they have such an amazing taste. And it's just one of those things that's a joy to eat. 
I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please like and subscribe. And if you get a chance, check out my cookbooks, which are available in bookstores worldwide. The first is all about everyday cooking. The second is all about baking. Have a great day.